afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. So the Bronx Bombers will attempt to cap this four-game series with a sweep. That's coming up next. Jay Happ gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Here's D. Gordon Leading now, the and we are ready Seattle. for some daytime baseball. D. Gordon. First delivery to him on the way. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bunt attempt. Batting second, the center fielder, Malik Smith. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, Malik Smith. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. Hat has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to that do is third. get on base and the take right advantage field. of the strength Mid. of his game, which Canada. is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Smoke toward the hole. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Justice Sheffield, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll lead things off, off here in the bottom Yankees. half of the first. The second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Pitch on the way. Ball one, no Fellas, one. the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, to expect to go through the course of a long season and just dominate every every game, every team, is just a foolish thought process. You're going to have these little hiccups throughout the course of the season. I think they keep you honest and keep you real and keep you on the attack. Let's see if they fight today. And there's your first out of the inning. Batting second. The shortstop. Waver. Torres. So coming to the plate, Torres, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey. And this pitch is right down the middle. Strike one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. 
And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order that to do. Her. Set the table for the, the right Monsters 3-4-5. Nice piece of hit. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes to count. Into the corner and slicing foul. Torres, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now that they really cool. don't like him. He's gotten hitter. the faithful all Big worked up by hitting one of their and best hitters hard. early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. So striding forward now, Miguel Andujar. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Dan Vogelbach is next. He's picked up three hits the in the series and driven in Daniel four along the way. Vogelbach. First offering on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. Oh, sorry, you know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E train at time. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside quarter, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. Now the 2 0. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1. Fouled away. The 2 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tuckman has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. That is it. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the yep. zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Two balls and a strike now. Well. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Tom Murphy waits on deck. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting fifth, the catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. Has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Mike got. Talkman. The and he really thrives the in the field. batter's box here at home. Mike. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch on its way. Hey. Talkman is usually more of a threat when facing left-handers like this. The right-handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Sheffield. 23 years old. He's in his third season as a major league player. The one two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. One and two, here it comes. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He'll enter play right at 333. Four home runs and an even 20 RBIs. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. This is line to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Oh, that a highlight reel catch no there, no doubt. He laid I out love. to sacrifice his body, Where brought it in, and secured it all the way to the ground. You know his pitcher really appreciates an effort like that. Striding in, Tyler Wade. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. I got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit on the ground out to short. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Dom. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Thanks. Now the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Batting eight. The left fielder, number 23, Austin Nola. Now at the plate, Austin Nola. He'll get to take his first cuts here.
pitch on the way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Third inning, no score to this point. Grounder down the line at third, but this will get foul for strike two. Ready with the 0 2. Nope. That misses 1 and 2. Now the pitch. That's hey, he started this guy backwards. A couple of off speed pitches early, followed by back to back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Hit hard back up the middle. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mariners. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That that's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. Into the box, Dylan Moore. And a ball, 1 0. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now the 1 0. And this is on the ground to first, could be two. Torres at the bag. Back to first, but he wasn't able to set his feet that time as he gets knocked down and they only get one. But he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there, and he threw it away. They got to force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. So it's back to the top of the order now, and up next, the speedy D. Gordon. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And he'll get back in safely. He's set. Here it comes. Off the plate ball. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Two out with the man at first. Breaking ball down around the knees, laid off and called a strike. A ball and two strikes now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. The one two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Runner, runner, two two runner. one more time. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One left for Seattle. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Set to get his day started, go. Kyle Higashioka. And it's been a real struggle for him with Kyle. the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Swing and a miss for strike one. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Oh, 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And he lays off again. Ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Batting nine, the first baseman, Mike. Now to the plate, oh. Mike Ford. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. From the stretch. Count one and oh. Nobody out, runner on first. He's going, he's Runner going. goes for second. Weakly hit to third. He's right there. And oh. indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Now batting second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. The one and zero delivery. A ball and a strike. One and one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning Hell streak right here. They strike Good early God. in this one Labor. to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes right it so field. effective? I think, Josh Matt, what Harbaugh. makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing Josh eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Giancarlo Stanton now. Strike one to start the at-bat. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Runner on first with two away. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Hit hard on the ground is short. Scooped up. Toss over to Gordon at second, and that ends the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees one, and the Mariners nothing. Stepping into the box, Malik Smith. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Malik Smith. Here's the first pitch to him. 
And that's cut on and oh missed 0-1. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Well, it's still battle. early, but it's also right worth field. noting that he'd be in Mid. line for the win if this Canada. keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Next for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Whoa, that's down. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. One and one the count now. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. A solo home run for Mitch Hanniger. Home run number nine on the year. And the Mariners have come back to make this a 1-1 game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now Into the box now, the Daniel Vogelback. Daniel as he will look at a first Vogelback. pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the 1 0. Too high. Oh. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Hey. And he drops a changeup right down Broadway for a cold strike. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tuckman is there, two gone. Now batter, third baseman. Kyle Seeger. Stepping in, Kyle Seeger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. 3-0 and to him now. And the pitch. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Two out, nobody on. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. The catcher, number two, Tom 
Murphy. Digging in now for the Mariners, Tom Murphy. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set and the pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. And that misses two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mariners strike back to tie things on the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. All even now at 1-1. Riding forward now is the D.H. Miguel Andujar set to lead us off in the, the home half of the hitter. fourth inning. Miguel. He's ready. Here's the first Andujar. offering. No touchdown. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. Here it comes. Aye. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Liner in there for a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead rat yeah, piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Mike. Top man. At the plate now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. There's one. Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. That's one of the hardest Number double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Gio Urshela. First delivery to him on the way. Heading out towards shallow right. On the run is Henniger. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Yanks held in check. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he said they just aren't putting enough competitive at-bats together right now. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today, and while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for Seattle. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. In now Dom. the Mariners DH. Thompson Dom Thompson Williams. Williams. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. 
And a fastball is in there for strike one. Oh and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Tuckman is right there, one down. The left fielder, number 23, Austin Nola. So stepping in, Austin Nola, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. This is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. To the plate now, Dylan Moore. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. That evens it up one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Again another foul ball. The one two runs a bit ball. inside for a ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Mariners are down in order. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. He said they're having a really hard time squaring up off-speed pitches right now, which is making it easy on the opposing pitching to keep them off balance. Until they prove they can hit anything other than fastballs, he thinks they're going to keep getting a steady diet of pitches with movement and deception. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Yankees. Bottom of the inning now. The Next for New York, Tyler, Tyler Wayne. He's 0 for 1 after grounding Wayne. out in his only trip to the plate so far. A little roller toward the hole. Going to be a tough play. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Now batting, catcher, Kyle Higashioka. So one away here with the bases empty. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball oh, just that. misses. That's ball one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Oh. 
three and one. Ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want now to challenge him. First and I'm baseman. really surprised by that because I think this is a guy Four. in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Coming to the plate now, Mike Ford. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey! Oh, one's the count. Has a look, now the pitch. Left side, but well foul. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Nola is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, the second baseman. DJ LaMahieu. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in DJ LaMahieu. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Yanks leave one. We played five full, tied at one aside. So the lineup flips over and digging in. D. Gordon. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. This is line to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Malik Smith the next to hit. First pitch on its way. Too high, 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for Seattle, the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Two gone now in the Mariners' sixth. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. The last at bat, Matty V, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed nope. pitches. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Two out, nobody on. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Score remains deadlocked at one.
Ready for another shot now. Torres. He'll look Leading to bounce up. back Torres after Yankees. striking out his last Not time up. Stop. Yeah, and he didn't put up Lightburn. much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find right. a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of the spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off and it's 1 and 2. Pretty good pitch right there fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up. Ball two. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Henniger is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the now first batting, out. Right fielder, Giancarlo. Ready once Stanton. again, Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. Now Way portal. inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two balls and no strikes, the count is Stanton. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. The 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad now break that, on some of those calls, but hitter. he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way I'm and you've hard. just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. A hit in two tries so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. One out and a runner on second base. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with yeah, one that, away. That's, that's what's called beautiful. getting the treatment. Come Everyone on. knows he's a power threat with a bat. Bad. So it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Ready now, Mike Talkman. He struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at bats. From the stretch. Nope. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. In there, and it's even at one. Okay, one and one. First and second now, one man out. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pick. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. 
And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with the only back. one away. Number 29. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put Goodwood on it. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing, as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll leave in a tie ball game, but he's also responsible for the three men on base, and he'll need some big time help here to preserve a no decision. Ladies Nestor Cortez Jr. Right. is called please. upon to pitch, really now, needing that four, double yeah. play ball. Bases Number are loaded three. here with only one Nestor man out. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. Nope. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-0 pitch. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And the run is in to score as they'll grab the lead here, 2-1. to one. That's just your classic ribby knock right there, Dan. Now He's able to turn on the pitch he wanted field, right there and drive it into the outfield. Good job getting Way. the barrel to the ball right there, able to get that one through and picks up an RBI. Hard hit and a well-deserved run batted in. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 for him to this point. The 1-0 oh is taking strike 1. One ball, one strike. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The bases are loaded with only one out. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Hot shot to third. One there. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Higashioka. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. The fastball here as he'll take a look That's at ball one. One and oh. Higashioka playing here in his age 29 season. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Cortez is facing his old colors in this one. He was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, guys, I always think it's interesting to play your old uniform. Maybe say hi to everybody you got accustomed to seeing when you were previously here. But then once the game starts, it's all business. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The 1-2. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. So two runs on two base hits, one error, and two men left stranded. We're through six full. It's the Yankees three and the Mariners one. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter Daniel Vogel back. He's batting cleanup in this one but will get us started here in the Daniel inning as they look to Vogelback. wake up the bats. Yeah not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is low ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1 0 home. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The 1 1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. The 1 2. Slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon now as we check out the league eight. leaders in ERA. Oh, yeah. And as you can see there he currently sits third in the AL in that category. One away for Seattle now in inning number seven and into bat next the third baseman Kyle Seeger. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes ball one. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Hey. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Speared on the dive. Hey now. The catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. So digging in now, Tom Murphy. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. This is line to left. Wade will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Ladies Mariners are down in order. They still the trail it here three to one. In now, Mike Ford. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. The first base, baby. Mike Ford. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, oh, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Lined hard toward right center, and there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he now didn't back. miss it. Second nice base swing base. right there, DJ. driving it into the outfield for Rob a
And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3 to 1 our score. And he fouls this one off. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away that'll keep you on all stuff fastballs and the off speed and there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away when you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes The 3 2 pitch. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free now pass, but especially Good troublesome stop. when you give Play up a burn. single right before that to start the Go inning. Red. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that will bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. Oh. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find his strike zone in the worst way. First and second here with nobody out. Ball, that Ball two now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Henniger. He's got it one away. Up next for the Yankees, the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Matt McGill takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Matt McGill. Giancarlo Stanton will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. On the stretch. That's a ball. Count one and oh. Runners are at first and second with one away. That's and he falls ball. behind now, two and oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Hit to short. To Gordon for one. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. And it's still three to one. Stepping into the box, Dom Thompson-Williams. Yeah, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Yeah, I'm not sure, Maddie, but I think this lefty-lefty matchup right here may have been enough to convince the manager to stay with him. So we'll see if it works out. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. 
Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Adam Ottavino is on the pitch here in the now eighth with nobody out. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. At the plate, Austin Nola as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The Yanks are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale, so if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball, you're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. One ball, one strike to count. One and two. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of a home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. You talk about bragging rights. Two cities that love their baseball teams. And geographically, they match up. Even though they're not division foes, it's for bragging rights. And this is what it's all about. In now, Dylan Moore, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs? I don't think he's working around him. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. D. Gordon waits on deck. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And that's in there, three and one. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Up next for Seattle, the second baseman, Dean Gordon. So a runner at second, two down now, and up next the speedy D. Gordon. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch misses ball two two out here and a runner at second to short Torres picks it up throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired Mariners leave one and it remains a three one ball game. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Go. He's for working on Yankees. one for two games so the far. The designated hitter, Miguel Andujar.
the pitch. Nope, that's the ball. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks that's like a right-hander's up to throw. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. In there, and it's even now, 2-2. Two and two. Here it comes. Full count. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot to right center. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 to one lead. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Taylor Williams is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. For Seattle, number 73, Taylor Williams. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. The center fielder, Mike. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 on its way. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here it comes on nothing and two. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now well batting. executed two Number seamer 29. on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Striding into the box, Gio Urshela. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. That misses 2-0. Two, two ball, no strikes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Smith's on the move, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now batting. Well, he was definitely no struggling field. coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box now, Tyler Wade. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. 
Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Williams, a right-hander standing just under six foot at 5'11". He was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Oh, Runner at second here with one man out. In for strike two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Has a look. Now the pitch. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. The bat. The nice catcher. piece of hitting right there. Kyle. Looked like the guy on second Peter had to respect Kiyoka. it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. Into the box now, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. A couple of walks for him thus far. It's fouled away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's 1-2. and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Runners are at first and third, one away. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Smith in pursuit, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And to score is the runner from first. It's six to one. And you know, this run might be the one that seals this thing for good. The three run deficit is tough enough to overcome, but a five run deficit feels like it might just be a little bit too much. They don't have many outs left to work with. Brendan Brennan answers the call now, now looking to get this one on to the ninth inning without any trouble. Brandon Brennan. Stepping in now, Mike Ford, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. From the stretch. Three runs already home here. Fouled away. The one two that misses and we're even at two and two has a look now the pitch pulled toward right center field on the run is Smith he's got it a nice play there two away. Now batting second baseman DJ LaMahieu. So the batting order turns over now and set to go DJ LaMahieu. It was a walk in his last trip.
From the stretch, here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. One zero -oh count. Here it is. That's a ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Torres would be next. The three and zero oh pitch. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air, but this will be foul off to the right out of play. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The three and one pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Smith's on the move. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. So three runs on four hits no errors and a man left on. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front six to one. Tommy Kingley comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth Malik Smith and they'll need him to get something going here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about want? over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. Here's the one and one pitch. Oh. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1-0. Oh. Oh, damn. Two balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground. And in the left field for a one-out hit. Now batting, the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. So now to the plate, Daniel Vogelback, hey. as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Oh and one here it comes. Maybe a favorable call there taken for a strike. Oh, 
Vogelbach behind the ball and two strikes. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you can have some problems. Swing and a line drive, but just fouls as he just misses extra bases. The next one two pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there. He spoils another one and will do it again. Well hit to right but foul. Making him work out there the ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tuckman is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batter third baseman Kyle Seeger. Now batting Kyle Seeger and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to the right side. And he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. At the plate, Tom Murphy. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the second deck and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left home run number five on the year and they cut the gap here it's now six to four. They seem to forget that the game started a while ago but better late than never I guess sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Your this Chapman gets the call now here as he'll try and look for game. one out to finish this thing Number off. 54. I'll roll this. Chapman. Now batting. Designated. To Blake now, Dom, Dom Thompson Williams. Thompson as he'll Williams. take strike one on the inside Hold corner. On. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. The 0 1 on its way. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And he gets the punch out as the Yankees finish the job and complete the series sweep of their rivals at home. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. Six to four, the outcome today. New York rack up a division-leading 40th victory of the season. Jay Happ 
earns his eighth victory of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.